in his course, and, and you you are at total odds with him on this particular subject of life insurance. So can can we start there and talk about why you are so high on uh, the type of life insurance that has cash value? Absolutely, and I, I think that it would be a great it would be great for the audience if we just kind of gave a very brief overview of the different types of life insurance. Uh, not right. everyone really does. You've been through the university, and you have a better understanding of that than most people do. So there's two basic types of life insurance. There's the kind you rent and the kind you own. Now, the most common type is the type that you rent, and that is called term insurance. Like renting a home, you have no equity in the policy, and you have basically nothing to show for it unless you happen to die before the end of the term. 99% of all term policies never even pay a claim, according to a Penn State University study, and even most experts agree that term insurance is designed to terminate before you do. One other drawback about term insurance is that the traditional types that they recommend have no inflation protection. So if you were to buy, say, a 20-year term policy, and over that period of time there was a 4% uh, inflation, you would, your, your policy would be worth 56% less. It would lose that much of its value. This is the type of policy that most financial experts recommend you buy. The other basic type, as you were referring to, is the type that they tell you to avoid, and that is called cash value insurance. Like owning a home, payments build equity for you. Everything you pay into it ends up building equity 